We have a huge one for you today, an in-state Big 12 battle known as the Bedlam Game. This coin toss presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Oklahoma State tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. Got the corner. At the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 46. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding offense. Little stumbles like these can kill so your game. offensive progress. From their own 42-yard line. First down. He wants it all going long. Doesn't get there. I'll tell you, if he put a little bit more air under that ball, that would have allowed the receiver to run right underneath it and catch it right in stride. Chucks it downfield. Great concentration to haul it in. He's all the way home. Touchdown. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. He converts the extra point. A quick two-play, 48-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Oklahoma lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 31 yard line. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. He goes downtown. No, incomplete. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time, but he'll get the next one. Lamb is back deep to return the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line.
Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Oklahoma is up a score. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. Snags that one. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point with a three-play, 60-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So our score, 14-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sooners really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. Five wide. So they go to the air and pick up six. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. They're about four yards away here on second down. Handoff inside. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. Hill picks up a yard on the play. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Fires it out. He's to the 40. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. Man, that is just inexcusable. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 33-yard line. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. And here's another third down. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Tackle 
Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Oklahoma's staff was talking all week long that this offense wanted to get off to a strong start, and they have. They have. They talked about building that momentum early in the game and then trying to be able to hold on into the second half, where they've gotten off to a great start so far. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. He fights forward to about the 23. From their own 23-yard line, second down. He gets to about the 34-yard line. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Wants to go long and does. Can't connect. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 31. Loss of three on the play. That brings up third and 14. Taken down at about the 29-yard line. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. He's at the 20, brought down around the 11-yard line. Scrambling around under heavy pressure. Looks like he's going to run. Touchdown, Sooners. What made this so impressive was first, his ability to see where the space was to run, and then the athletic ability to get it into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. A seven play, 80 yard drive, and they put up seven points. The score now, 21 nothing. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Sooners are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Caught with room to work. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 31. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Throws in the middle. He's to the 40. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 40. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Let's go, 
Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. To the 10. They'll bring him down at the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Shows some moves, and he's in. was a perfectly executed play there by the offense. And the option is so tough to defend, especially right near the goal line. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 75-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Oklahoma's taking no prisoners in this game so far, Herbie. Well, they've really exploited some one-on-one -on -one opportunities and came up with some big plays that eventually have led to those touchdowns. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in this country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Nice run there as they work the outside. He's tackled at the seven yard line. Well, the defense brought a lot of pressure and that time they got burned. If you don't get to this quarterback on the blitz, you're giving him a ton of room to make a play. First and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. And they make the stop right around the six yard line. End zone touchdown. He makes his second touchdown grab of the game. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. He makes the PAT. Oklahoma to kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They need to show a little giddy up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Got it, and brought down immediately. We're through one quarter. Oklahoma's got a three-touchdown advantage. 